starting here with the Monarchs, you've got in the back, you've got Tyler Arnone, which I love. This guy is forcing his way onto the field. He's been playing as a holding midfielder, but today he's an outside back. Monarchs with a typical lineup you would see for their parent club, Real Salt Lake, as they have the diamond in the midfield. And the importance of that diamond is to have a great defensive mid. And tonight, that's going to be tasked to Tyler Arnault. Tyler Arnault has a great ability to be in the midfield and the defense, but tonight he's going to have a tough task of sitting right in front of his back line. You know, Tyler Arnault was the 2013 Big Ten midfielder of the year for Michigan University. He was the co-captain. And like I said, against the Sacramento Republic 10 days ago, he played outstanding. He's a player to disrupt the flow of the Republic's uh, possession. And in that holding role, that's exactly what he does. He might not win every ball. He might not win possession all of the time, but he's going to be a pest and a thorn in the side of the opposing team to force them to play a ball before they're ready and give up possession where his teammates can pick up the spilled ball. He's going to be a player to watch for. coaching staff losing their mind at that whistle from our referee Jensen. I think it was really fantastic defensive shape and positioning from our known and then Rauhofer comes over as a second defender. Starting as a holding midfielder tonight is Tyler Arnold. He did a fantastic job against Sacramento Republic. He was probably the player of the game.
have Tyler Arnon again committing himself into tackles. And he slides to take this deflection to make sure it's not on goal. Goes into a corner kick for the Aztecs. All right, Tyler, so we saw you take a look at the goal in the 13th minute and then take a beautiful shot from 25 yards back. Were you confident in that ball going into the goal? Yeah, I was confident. I thought I hit it well. I saw a goal on target and when it hit the back end of that, I was really happy about that. Um, but certainly the credit goes to my coaches and, and teammates. We work on set pieces all the time in training and we saw a look, we took it and, and it worked out. So credit to them. Right, and we saw you, Mikey, as well as Colin get goals. And then in the first half, it was 3-0. to zero. So kind of talk to us about what happened in the second half and if you saw a decrease in energy either from playing or from the sideline. Yeah, I don't think it was so much energy. I thought that a lot of guys played very well today, especially for the first 70 minutes, like you mentioned. But um, I think you just saw a young team going through some growing pains early on in the season. It is just our second game. And at the end of the day, we got a point away from the game. So there were a lot of positives to take away from today. Um, I thought largely we were the better team. And it was just mental lapses that comes when you're dealing with early on in the season and, and young players. The Monarchs walk away. My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground. Wolverines get the first one that counts. 23 minutes in. When Tyler Arnold catches everyone, including the Hoosier goalie off guard, his long shot skips through. 1 0, Mays and Blue. It's a great combination of play. Um, just like. You know we do in practice and uh, kind of the style which we're looking to play a lot of possession a lot of uh, passes within each other then um, I got through and didn't think didn't think twice about shooting it connected really well with the ball and just uh, see you going Tyler Arnone converts to PK his fourth goal of the year and we were tied and won at the half Obviously, Fabio has been taking the PKs for us, and he wasn't on the field at that moment. And I knew I was the next guy in line. So we practice, you know, those type of situations and practice all the time. And uh, so for me, it was all about routine and keeping my cool. And I knew my team needed to get back in the game because we deserve to. So um, you know, I just kept my cool and just placed it in the corner. Michigan answers less than a minute later as Tyler Arnone put some air under it for Latifa Lache, and the Maze of Blue had a 3-1 halftime lead. That's a great response from the group to just let up a goal and then, you know, not put our heads down. Um, we talk a lot about the mentality of the game, and uh, we were a man up at the time, I believe, so I had a lot of space in the midfield, and no one really closed me down, so, I, you know, I, I saw Latif's run. You know, unfold right in front of me, and I didn't hesitate to clip it over to him. So, on my part, it was an easy, you know, easy ball. But Latif's finish was in tough class. For Latif and Tyler to respond that way, it really changed the game for us. That was the seal uh, that helped us win the game for sure. We're here with Michigan midfielder Tyler Arnone. He was just uh, recently awarded with uh, first team All Big Ten honors. He's the 12th Michigan Wolverine to receive that accolade. Tyler, just give us your thoughts on this, receiving this award. Uh, it's a real honor and privilege to get this award representing uh, Michigan men's soccer. Um, but to be honest, I got to owe a lot to my teammates on the field without them. You know, uh, and I wouldn't be able to get such a prestigious award. And uh, I'm just really grateful. Uh, to heading in tomorrow, we have the host, the host team, Northwestern. Uh, it's going to be a tough matchup. What are your thoughts heading into that? Uh, we're looking forward to it. I think the guys are ready and we're prepared for this match.
match and we love for this one to uh, win streak and we've been playing well and competing at the right time. So uh, I'm really excited to see how we play tomorrow. Great, Tyler. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you tomorrow, right?